Hello Eternal Life fans, it's Rowan from the Eternal Life Fan Club and I have a message for everyone. Dead people are still losers, okay? Some people, after I came out as a believer in God, some people thought, oh my goodness, Rowan is on his way to being a deathist. Rowan, he probably believes in the afterlife and now all this so people have ideas now that I, I uh, you know, so people have ideas that they think I don't think this is true anymore because they think I believe in the afterlife. I don't believe in the afterlife, but it's possible. What are the chances that the afterlife is uh, real? What are the chances? I don't know the chances. I don't like to put a percent chance on something because who knows the chance? But I will say it's possible. Let's just say it's wishful thinking. Okay? The afterlife is wishful thinking. Now, just because it's wishful thinking doesn't mean it's not true. Okay? Sometimes people can wishfully think and it's still true. Like, we don't know. So, whether or not the afterlife is wishful thinking, which it is, still has no bearing on its truthfulness. So, it's possible. If there is an afterlife, then obviously, if there's people in the afterlife, they're not really dead, are they? So, dead people are losers. The statement is only true if there is no afterlife. Okay? If. I don't think there is. It's possible. So, what's the other option besides an afterlife? Uh, physical resurrection. Okay, if you die, but then you're physically resurrected, you're not a loser, are you? No, you're not. Um, now, what are the chances that physical resurrection could be possible? I don't know. I don't put percent chances on things. That's really stupid to do. Why would you, like, say, oh, well, here's the chances? I don't know the chances. I will say it's possible that physical resurrection is a thing. Um, hey, if I died, I would sure hope to be physically resurrected. And actually, it makes sense to come up with a strategy. It, it makes sense to come up with a strategy to resurrect yourself if you were to die. Okay, so I talked about that with Sarah, the wise blonde. It, it is, it seems crazy to think physical resurrection could be possible, but it, it, it is. Okay, um, and yeah, if you're resurrected, you're not a loser. The third option is my favorite, which is never die. Okay, that, that's, that's the plan. The plan is never die. These things are more wishful thinking. Um, some people would say, well, Rowan, it's also wishful thinking to think you're never going to die. Um, maybe, but... What are we doing here? This is the Eternal Life Fan Club. We have to try to live forever. So you might think, oh, that's pretty optimistic to think you're never going to die, but that's the whole point of living forever. You want it so much, you, you're you going to make it real, right? We're going to have to never die. Um, oh, wait, there is a, there's a fourth option here. Let's see, what's the fourth? I forgot to do the fourth option. What is this? That would be... The fourth option is you can die, and then you'd be a loser. Huh. Yes, you'd be a dead loser if you're really dead. If you really, really die, you're a loser. That's really the message. Now, some people think, well, Rowan, hey, why are dead people losers? Isn't that really fair to say? Dead person, dead people, they could have accomplished a lot. Okay, dead people could do all these great... I mean, they in their life, when they were alive, dead people might have accomplished something. Okay, they might have... Uh, what are some people? What are some things people could do? People might have, like, uh, created a movie or something, or they might have been a musician or a singer, and they inspired a lot of people or something. Maybe they were famous or a celebrity. Is that person still a loser if they're dead? Yeah. Yes, they are. They're a loser. 
What's something else great somebody could have done? Maybe they could have made a lot of money or something, right? Oh, let's say you're you're Bill Gates. You're the richest person. But then you die. You're you're a loser, aren't you? Yes. Okay, because you don't get to keep anything. You don't get to keep the money, so you're What is what does it matter? The point is if you don't get to keep you, you die, everything you ever did is rendered meaningless if you're truly dead. What's something else that people value in life? Uh, pleasure, right? Fun. Okay, let's say you do something really fun. Let's say uh, relationships are fun, aren't they? Let's say you're... you had a great relationship. Um, yeah, you, had, you were like married and you had the full kit and caboodle. You had the family. You had the, the, the white picket fences, everything. The American dream. But then you die. What did it matter? What did it matter? It's pointless. It's sound and fury signifying that you're a loser. Okay? What's something else? Pleasure. What's pleasurable? Okay, hedonism. Okay, let's say you did the most hedonistic stuff in life. Let's say you slept around with a lot of people. Okay, people think sex is fun. I wouldn't know, but you know, let's see. People have a lot of sex in their life, but then they die. Well, they're still a loser. Let's say that people, there's all kinds of fun things. Okay, let's say, let's say, let's, let's meet, use me for an example. I really enjoy peanut butter. I love it. It's one of my favorite foods. Let's say I eat a lot of peanut butter in my life. I had a lot of enjoyment from that peanut butter, didn't I? Yes, I did, but guess what? If I die, still a loser. Still a loser. So I guess the point is what I'm really trying to say is the only way to truly win in life, the only way to not be a loser is to live forever. But if you feed the poor, and cure disease. Are you still a loser? Ah, okay. So my mom asks a question. If I feed the poor and cure disease, but then I die. So I'm a humanitarian, okay? I'm like uh, doing all these great things. Helping people, right? But then I die. Am I a loser? I would have to say, yeah. Yeah, I am. So even a humanitarian... If they die, and they truly die, and yeah, they're a loser. But, hey, being a humanitarian is pretty smart because if you help a lot of people, and it turns out that there is an afterlife, then that might increase your chances of going to the afterlife. In which case, that would be pretty awesome. So it's recommended to actually do try to help people because it does increases your overall chances of getting eternal life. Or even let's say there's just a physical resurrection. And let's say there's a hypothetical God that might help resurrect you, but only if you're good enough, okay? What if you have to be as practically perfect as Mary Poppins in order for this hypothetical God to resurrect you? You see what I'm saying here? So there are other factors we have to take into consideration. But ultimately, it does lead back to this strategy right here. I like this one. Never die. Okay, what does that mean? It means being a transhumanist. Because what are transhumanists into? They're into uh, really anything that can help them live forever. Which is me. Uh, this is what I want. I want to live forever. Um, and I'm just trying to kind of prepare for... Uh, put. I'm trying to increase my odds of living forever as much as possible. In case you couldn't tell. And this is why I, I, I think about this sort of thing and all these different, different ways of um, increasing my chances of living forever, basically. Alright, you guys. Uh, before I end the video, my mom, she's been listening this whole time, and she gave me one more objection to what I've said here. And she said, hey, you know, 
What about meaning? The meaning that you leave behind after you die. Let's say you affected all these people, you had all these relationships, you die, but then you affected these people and they're still alive and their life is meaningful because, because of your life. And um, so she's saying there's this meaning that carries on even after you're dead. Okay, or let's say you had children. Or isn't that some kind of immortality? Or what if uh, the meaning just you had while you were alive, is, isn't that important? I mean, you, were, you, you had meaning at least while you were alive. Doesn't that say, doesn't that, um, you know, doesn't have any significance? No, it doesn't. It does not have any, okay, this might sound a little bit selfish, self-interested. It's a self-interested perspective, but what I'm saying is that if your personal meaning does not last forever, personally, and the only way to preserve personal meaning is to live forever and never die. Of course, yeah, if you die and you affected other people's lives and they're still alive, sure, their life is still meaningful, they're doing whatever, and but they're still alive, so their life is still meaningful, but you don't have meaning personally. To me, that's that really does not comfort me. That's not, uh, that doesn't help me. Some people would say, well, that's a very self selfish perspective, self-interested perspective. Okay, okay. Oh well, that's that's just uh, what I'm into. I'm into living forever. Um, I don't think selfishness in this context is bad. It's not bad to want to live forever and to um, and to really kind of dismiss every other thing. Like if you don't get to have personal meaning forever, it's not meaningful to me. I view all that, you know, these symbolic forms of immortality, I view them as sound and fury signifying nothing. So personally, I guess you could say it's subjective, but in my subjective reality, all of these other kinds of, all of these other kinds of living forever are meaningless, right? Unless, my mom does not like what I'm saying, but I'm saying, look, unless my consciousness lasts forever, it really doesn't matter to me. You know, sure, I want to help other people live forever. I want to get other people to live forever and help everyone, all the good people, live forever. But really, it's like, I want to live forever first. That's like my main focus. So, dead people are still losers. That's the end of it. All right, you guys. I want to summarize this because I know I've discussed a lot of stuff here. I just want to simplify this in summary. So, we got never die. How, how do we never die? It's good that we have the, the plan, but how do we do it? It's all about health, okay? And that's why health is going to be the main focus of my channel. But what about God? Oh, now that I'm a believer in God. Well, the question mark is a very important point here because God is hypothetical. Having said that, God does play into the strategy of eternal life, my overall strategy, because since God is hypothetically possible, that means God, in addition to health, right, health helps us never die. In addition to that, though, maybe, possibly, there's a hypothetical God that, you know, if you're good enough, if you obey the rules or whatever, God might help you to never die. Um, or, maybe God will help with your physical resurrection. That's another possibility. Okay. Or, very last case, worst case scenario, you actually did die. Okay. We have to be open still to the possibility that there might be an afterlife. Okay. In which case... You know, this is not something you count on. Remember, the afterlife, don't count on it. But it is possible. So we have to... Basically, basically what you're doing is you're being really, 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 really good so that maybe if there is a God, he'll help you live forever in whatever way. Whether it's never dying, physical resurrection, 
or the afterlife, you're just hoping and wishing that maybe there's a God. I know it's wishful thinking, okay? I know that. Um, but you'd be dumb not to even... You'd be dumb not to even consider the possibility, okay? Health, health always comes first. That's the top priority because health is how we'll never die. And if all of this fails and you do die, just remember you're a loser. Okay, so that pretty much sums it up. Oh, by the way, we might also be able to physically resurrect ourselves uh, with our own strategy that might have nothing to do with God. So, in addition to health on this channel, I am going to be exploring the possibility of physical resurrection. Like, what we can do, maybe, to resurrect ourselves physically should the worst case scenario happen. Should we die, maybe we can resurrect ourselves. I'll be exploring that as well. Um, the physical resurrection strategy. That about sums it up. Thank you, and may you live forever. I am the smartest man alive!